Hey guys, my name is Sean Gerke. I'm in the Web Design and Development Bachelor of Science at Full Sail University. And the application that I chose to share with you guys is Coda2. So this program is a web coder, but it's more than just a code editor. It is a full featured website development platform. Uh, when we first started in this degree, we were asked to use a text wrangler. And this compared to that is not the same thing. This is not just a code editor. You can pretty much do anything with this. Uh, first I want to start off with the layout um, and this is the main reason I bought this program. So this is what they call the dream layout or the golden layout. Um, and So you see here on the left hand side is my HTML and way on the right is my CSS and the middle is a live preview. So this live preview um, I can use any browser, any user agent, anything from older Firefox to the brand new Safari on Mac or Windows I can go and test my my site on any one of those uh, browsers um, you can also open in any application right from here um, you also have visual CSS so any changes that I make right in in my CSS I can refresh and see exactly what happens um, with the document um, so if I go ahead and erase this it's obviously going to get rid of my background, um, but live CSS really helps in the learning process. It really helped me learn CSS faster. Also, if you see here, um, it's giving me a warning. So the nice thing about this as well is it has CSS and HTML validation. So it's telling me, you know, what my errors are right in the site. I don't need to go to a different validator. So that's a huge thing. Another nice thing is code folding so I can go ahead and fold up my code um, let's go over to the HTML side I can fold the entire thing really helps in finding errors um, the learning process makes it a lot easier than just being in a in text wrangler they don't really give you a whole lot of options there um, another really nice feature is that you're able to change and you might be able to do this with other pro programs but you can change the preferences as far as the colors, um, whatever is appealing to your eye. Um, obviously, I like the, the darker skins, but you can go and, and customize this any way that you want. Um, next, I'm going to show you some of the actual code writing. Um, let's open up a new file here. Get a new site, untitle it. So right away, it's going to open me up in HTML untitled document. Um, so one nice thing about this is shortcuts. So HTML and I want it to be an HTML5 document. Now if I just hit Control E it creates me a HTML5 document which is really nice. Now you can go and edit all this stuff and make it into a, a more um, this is just a basic HTML5. If you want to go into more depth about it you can. Um, that would be made in your clips. So I'll show you one of the clips that I have. Um, it's not properly indented, but it does show you that it has an HTML5 document. <coughs> um, another feature with those clips is like lorem ipsum. You can go ahead and throw that in there. Now here's what's called text wrapping. Now if I hit Command Shift and a bracket, we can go. You can change that to a div or a paragraph or whatever you like and live preview. I can go right here and see exactly what that's going to look like. So the last feature I want to show you is called Air Preview. Now this feature is awesome. You can literally take this and preview live to your iPad or iPhone what that site's going to look like. So instead of even doing the dream layout here, you're able to actually see a preview right on your iPad or iPhone. So you can see live what you're, what you're doing frees up some space for you to actually be in your, your HTML or whatever. I have a large screen so it doesn't affect me a lot but if I needed to do it on my laptop this would, would be something that's really great. So that's Coda 2 and I really suggest you guys look into it. There is a free trial. It's a 30-day free trial if you wanted to go ahead and, and try to use it. You can do JavaScript with this. You can do um, any one of the languages. It's very useful tool. So well, I hope this helped all you guys. Thank you.